Joanne, how she's doing? She's picking up dog poo. Joanne's picking up dog poo. All right. Okay. Well, dog poo uh, doesn't sound like a fun activity, but it sounds like something that's necessary. And thank you so much for doing it. All right. Far too many people. I'm walking outside. Not so much these days, but I'm walking outside and I see, I see poo on the ground. And you know what's worse than seeing poo, dog poo on the ground? What I'm assuming is dog poo on the ground. You know what's worse than that? It's when I see dog poo in doggy bags tied up outside on the ground. What the heck is that? Who leaves their house with the with the proper bag for their poo and they're planning, I'm going to pick up this poo. I'm going to do what's right. And their dog poos and they pick it up with that bag and they tie that bag up and then poop, leave it on the ground. You might as well not have put it in the plastic bag. Folks, you see I'm getting all riled up and getting all riled up and getting all riled up thinking about that dog poo in the dog bag. Please don't do that. Don't put the poo in the bag and then leave the bag tied up outside where nature can't even get to it. I mean, what are these biodegradable bags? Maybe they're biodegradable bags. I don't know. But my folks, let the rain wash it away, man. Just these mushy bags there on the street. Oh, man, if I ever catch somebody doing that in person, if I ever catch, I have these fantasies where I catch people. I have these fantasies where I set up cameras at the spots where I find poo on a regular basis, especially around my home, you know? And and then catch the perpetrator in the act, the poopetrator in the act, you know? And then see where they live. And, the, and then what, Peter? And then what, bad guru? What am I going to do? Okay, what, am I going to call the police on these people? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I just get so upset when I see the dog poo. Joanne, you got me off on a whole track with dog poo. My goodness. Let's see what the chat's got to say here. Vanessa says... Uh, Vanessa agrees with me. She totally, totally, three exclamation, that's four, three exclamation points agrees with me. I hate that. I don't understand either. It's so confusing. My God. Can you imagine? Can you imagine somebody dies, right? And then the coroner comes by and they do the autopsy and then they put the body in a plastic bag and then they just leave the body out there on the ground. Okay. Admittedly, that's not a very good example, okay? I could have found something way better, especially that is pretty morbid for this time. But come on, man. If you're not going to deal with it properly, let nature deal with it properly, man. Don't put it in a plastic bag and prevent it from being affected by the elements. <sighs> Vanessa says, you dropped them off at their door. <gasps> My fantasy now has an ending. You know what? You know, I don't know. Do people really learn with stuff like that? You know, if I'm a dog owner, I will go out there, uh, pick up my dog poo. Uh, uh, obviously, I must think I'm doing something right by putting the poo in the bag. Maybe I'm thinking, well, at least I'm protecting people from stepping on it. Okay, maybe you think you're doing something right. Whatever. And then you wake up in the morning, you open up your door, and right there on the ground there is the bag. Is the bag that you put the, the poo, the, your dog's poo in the bag there. Is it your aged, your, your, your aged dog poo, you know, in a bag. Like aged cheddar, you know, just aged poo in a bag. I hope none of you are eating right in front of your door. Does that change your behavior? Do you go, oh my goodness, can't believe I did something so stupid. Somebody must have really been upset. I've got to change my ways. I know what to do. I know what to do. Change my ways. I don't know. I don't know that they're going to change their ways. You know what I mean? I very rarely had conversations with people, especially strangers, where I'm telling them they're doing something wrong and then they just change their behavior. I mean, I do. I tend to, and somebody says, hey, Peter, bad guru, you might do something a little bit better. Da, 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 da. I like to change my behavior, but I don't think most people do that. So dropping off at the door, mm, maybe that's a way to get enemies. But what if I'm dropping it off at the door, and then right when I drop it off, the door opens. The person walks out with their dog. <gasps> There's a lady around here with a really big dog. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, my God, I was just trying to teach you a lesson. Ah! I don't know. I don't know. Joanne says, light it on fire. Smells lovely. <laughs> you folks are really getting into this dog poo business, okay? I'm going to get off the dog poo conversation, but Joanne, Joanne has, has moved me into the arson territory, okay? I'm pretty sure it's technically a crime to set a little fire in front of someone's house. Unless you're just saying I should go around vigilante style and just light all the poo I find on the ground on fire just to clean the world, to cleanse the world. No, no, I'm not going to do that. And I don't think you're suggesting that. What? I mean, what is, did I just do 10 minutes on dog poo? Man, I got to get off this topic, man. I'm trying to be there for you in this time. Am I going to be streaming tomorrow? Probably. Am I going to be streaming the day after that? Uh, probably. You're going to want to like 
and subscribe, okay? If you're on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell so that you know when I go live. And uh, follow me, hit follow, like, and follow on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash happy for a change. And that way you can know when I go live here.